I'm Chas from Chas's Crazy Creations, and you were watching Home Talk. To start this project, you're going to need white hangers. There are a lot of variations, but today we're going to be using eight white hangers to get us started. I'll also be using white pipe cleaners, and I'm going to cut this into thirds. I'm not looking for any specific length. And then next, what I need to do is put two hangers together with their ends touching like so. And I'm gonna take one of the pipe cleaners in the middle here, and I'm going to just twist them together so that holds them into place. And then I'm just gonna take the extra pipe cleaner and wrap it around. You could go with smaller if you want. Now I'm gonna set this first one aside, and then I need to do this again to each set of two until all eight hangers are done. So now I have all eight hangers twist tied together. So I'm gonna take two of the sections and I'm going to put one end together and then two of the hangers together like so. And I'm gonna take another pipe cleaner and just twist these two hanger sections together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap around the excess like that. And now that this section's done, I'm gonna rotate it here and focus on this next one. So again, pulling the center in, getting both of these to touch, grabbing another pipe cleaner, and twist tying it together. Now, I'm a big fan of wax paper. It helps protect your surface, um, but you could also use other things. I'm just gonna slide this underneath because when I have the next step happen to keep these all together, I want to protect my surface. So just to make it a little more stable, I'm gonna add a little drop of hot glue between each of these hangers so now that this part is solid, I'll remove the wax paper. And then what I want to do is make sure to catch these outside edges as well. So I just wanna make sure that these edges also are pretty solid. So I'm just gonna add a little hot glue between those and let each outside section have a little reinforcement as well. So the inside is all glued and the outside is all glued. So we basically have our form for our snowflake all complete. And now it's time to add some of the embellishments. So we're going to start with the center. And I'm going to add a little hot glue to a couple of these corners again on top. I always add more, but I just need a little bit to start with. And then I've got one of these dollar store snowflakes. They're meant to be ornaments. I just cut off the little string that they hang with. And now I'm just gonna glue that into the center of that. Now, if you want, you can add a little more glue reinforcement in a few other locations, just to give it a stronger. So I'm gonna, again, take the string. I don't need this, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. And I'll do that to all of them. And then what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna add a little hot glue to that pipe cleaner and stick this on the pipe cleaner. And lastly, I'm gonna focus on these other pipe cleaners. Now, again, if you don't like the pipe cleaners, you don't have to use those. You could hot glue all along here or use a different glue of your choice. But I have these mini snowflakes and I'm just gonna add a little hot glue to the pipe cleaner. And then I'm gonna stick the little snowflake onto that. So we've taken eight hangers, stuck them together, added some snowflakes, and we have a giant snowflake. Now it's time to go set it up and see what it looks like on display. Here it is on our mantle, all ready for the winter season. The great thing about a project like this is that you can keep it up for all winter long versus just one month for a holiday. I hope this inspires you to create some hanger snowflakes of your own. Again, I'm Chas from Chas's Crazy Creations. Thanks for watching Home Talk, and I'll see you next time.